Hi there and welcome to Connecticut Style. I'm Teresa LaBarber. Thanks for making us part of your day. It's Domestic Violence Awareness Month and today we're going to shine the spotlight on the Birmingham Group Health Services, a safe haven for victims of domestic abuse and violence. We'll also hear the inspiring story of a survivor and tell you how children and teens are affected by domestic violence and the services available for them as well. Over to you, Jocelyn. Hey, Teresa. I'm here with Daniel Delpre and Chef Ryan Trevathan from Black Bear and Wicked Wolf Restaurants. Now, you guys are big supporters of the Birmingham Group Health Services. Why is that? I'll let Dan start off. Um, okay. Absolutely. Uh, it's a great organization that we've partnered with before in the past. My wife is a chairperson for their big charity event, a Milford Bolathon, every March. Domestic abuse a big issue for you? Is something you guys want to Yeah, support. definitely want to raise, raise awareness for it and make, you know, the, the best effort we could to, uh, to spread the word and notify everybody. Very good. And you are going to teach us something really cool in the kitchen. What is it today? Yes, I am. We're going to be featuring one of our new dishes, the chicken portobello. That's a new one on the menu? Yes, it is. Excellent. And this is something that we can do at home, obviously. So. Of course. We're going to show you exactly how to do it step by step. So then we don't have to go to the restaurant then? Oh, well, you have to come and try it. Yeah, I think you're right. You still have to go to the restaurant because yes. I can never duplicate it anyway. <laughs> All right, let's tell everybody what they need to do, guys. Take a look at this camera over here. We need to sit back and relax. You're having lunch with style. Can you believe what they're passing off as kids' mattresses? Would you let your kids sleep on them? No way. My new Valuepedic twin set is real quality for kids, even grown-ups at only $1.99. The competition? Wow! Busted! My firm's 24-hour promise is something other attorneys don't give you. If you're injured and have a case, we'll start working to get you money within 24 hours. Call Trantolo and Trantolo at 888-T-R-A-N-T-O-L-O. So I went a lot of years without seeing the dentist, and then it happened. One tooth, so painful I couldn't even sleep at night. Why do people wait so long to call the dentist? You're going to have to take care of it sometime. <laughs> Aspen Dental got me in right away. My dentist fixed me up, and now I'm sleeping like a baby. Now save 30% on dental and denture services. Hurry, offer ends October 18th. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Come on, people. Take care of your smile. Call Aspen take Dental. a little time to smile. The biggest home show of the fall has a bigger home of its own. The 32nd Annual Fall Hartford Home Show, October 7th through the 9th, now at the Connecticut Convention Center. Who's got your back? News 8. My Bobopedic Memory Foam 8-inch Queen Set is only $5.99. Your Tempur-Pedic 8-inch Set is $17.99. That's $1,200 more than Bob. Prove your claim that you sleep better on yours, not mine. You can't. For more than 25 years, the Birmingham Group Health Services has provided hope and vital, free, and confidential services for children, families, and individuals affected by domestic violence. Joining me now is Susan DeLeon, the Director of Domestic Violence Programs, and Louise Hebert, a survivor of domestic violence. Welcome both to Connecticut Style. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Susan, right off the bat, tell me how big of a problem this is in Connecticut. Well, in the last year in the state of Connecticut, we had uh, 60,000 victims of domestic violence that were served. Wow, and you don't really hear about it all that often. I mean, I uh, guess people maybe don't want to talk about it, but obviously it's a huge problem. It's not a popular subject. Right. And in our local area, that would be the Lower Naukatuck Valley and the uh, Greater New Haven area along the shoreline, we served a total of about 9,000. Oh, wow. Victims of domestic violence. That's not that's not a count with the children either. I wow. mean, the children would be separate. Tell me how the Birmingham group helps out. Well, we have some great programs. Um, we have a, a walk-in crisis center in the Valley, in Ansonia, mm -hmm. and we have one in North Haven that serves that, North, that New Haven area. And we provide counseling, one-on-one -on -one counseling. We do support groups. We work with the children, which you'll hear about later. We have a 24-hour, seven days per week crisis hotline. And what that means is that we're available anytime, day or night, to receive a call from somebody who's in trouble who needs to talk. We also have a two 
um, safe houses mm -hmm. that are in anonymous locations. And uh, at the safe house, we have women and children who come for up to 60 to 90 days. Really? And while they're there, we provide the same types of services that we provide at our crisis centers, where we offer the counseling and the advocacy and the case management. And there's two specific programs that you have. There are two specific programs. Mm -hmm. However, um, we're very similar, except our cultures are a little bit different because of the towns that we serve. Okay. The uh, New Haven area has a very large court program, and the um, Lower Naugatuck Valley area has a uh, larger population of people that come in for um, counseling at their office. Okay. Now, Louise, uh, you're willing to share your story with us. You were a victim of domestic abuse. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about your story, if you would. Well, it happened many, many, many years ago. I was uh, actually 17, and I always like to preface by saying I am currently married. I've been married for 28 years, and I love the guy, and it's wonderful, and life good. is good for me. Happy to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I always like to make sure that people are aware of that. But prior to that, um, I ended up in a relationship when I was very young, and uh, I, I lived a typical middle-class um, lifestyle with my parents, and I ended up going out with someone who was... I could tell that the family was abusive, I knew that there was alcohol involved, mm -hmm. but I was very young and I was naive and I thought, well, you know, if we get together, you know, he'll see the better side of life and, you know, we'll that, it. yeah, I can fix it, I can change it. And that was a very naive thing. Um, I was pregnant, um, we did get married, and within a month or so, he started um, punching me in the stomach and uh, belittling me, calling me names. And then he would apologize profusely, always, I'm so sorry for what I did, or he would forget about it. Mm -hmm. And um, it would go away, and I thought, oh man, that's, that's never going to happen again. And it just kept getting worse mm -hmm. and getting worse and getting worse. And I was mortified. I was embarrassed. Um, he uh, alienated me from my family. He alienated me from friends. And I be really began to think that I was less than an aunt, that I was really a nobody. You know, sometimes I would really think that it was all my fault. Um, and I lived like this for eight years. What finally made you realize this wasn't right? Well, I knew it wasn't right all along, but I was afraid to leave because he would threaten to kill my kids first, then kill my family, oh. and then kill me. And based on what he did to me, I absolutely believe that he would do that. And um, it finally happened one day, I, I knew, I knew that day I was going to die, I knew. Um, it, was, it just got so bad, um, but I really feel like the hand of God was on me that day, and I ran across the bed to call for help, and usually by that time he would get the, the, the phone and smash it over my head, but for some reason that day he left, and I was able to get help. My little sister came, she picked me up, I ran out with no shoes, I grabbed my two kids, and for a month we hid mm -hmm. because there was a warrant out for his arrest, but they couldn't find him. So we hid for an, an entire month. I took my kids out of school, and he finally was arrested, and slowly but surely I changed my life around. And I like to say that I'm not a survivor, but I'm a thriver. Mm -hmm. I, my life is very, very good, and if mm -hmm. I can do it, other people can do it as well. Great. Oh, thank you so much for sharing your story. Really, I'm sure it will inspire women who are, who are I hearing hope it. so. That's why I want to share my story, is that if I can do it, other people can. Great, Luz. Thank you so much. And Susan, tell us about some upcoming events that well, are happening. Well, for Domestic Violence Awareness Month, we have a candlelight vigil on Tuesday this week, Tuesday evening from 6 to 7 at the Kellogg Environmental Center. And then we have the Sound of Hope, which takes place on Long Wharf Pier. That will be on Wednesday from about 1 to 2 o'clock. And we have some great speakers. We have uh, 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 Chris Donovan, Speaker of the House, coming, um, which is pretty exciting. And during that time, um, we will be reading the names of the uh, deceased. Every year in Connecticut, we usually read the names of anywhere between 20 and 25 people that have died in Connecticut as a result of domestic violence. It's a very solemn occasion. Um, it's very important that we, we raise awareness to let people know what we're doing sure. and that we um, talk um, and respect the people that have 
suffered at the hands of domestic violence. And we honor the staff, because the staff that work so hard. Well, let everybody know there's a resource out there, yes. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In fact, let's put all the information up on the screen. If you want more info on the Birmingham Group Health Services, you can call the number there, 203-736-2601. And the domestic violence hotline is 888-774-2900. Luis, thank you again for sharing your story. Thank you. Susan, thanks for being here. Coming up next, we're in the kitchen with Black Bear and Wicked Wolf restaurants. More Connecticut style when we come back. Can a little bowl of cereal change your life? I think it can. One of the challenges for Kayla being gluten-free is actually finding choices the whole family will love. Then we discovered Czech cereals. Five flavors of Czechs are gluten-free, including the honey nut flavor, and that's amazing to a mom like me. As a parent, you don't want to have to tell your kids no all the time. It's nice for me to be able to say yes to something that they want to eat. Czech cereal. Five flavors. Gluten-free. The Chew, a brand new talk show that's made fresh every day. Don't miss Mario's Simple Family Meals, Michael's Five Ingredients, Cooked in Five Minutes, and Clinton's Plates to Platters. Food. Life. Fun. The Chew. Weekdays only on ABC. I've seen my clients and their families in very difficult situations. They need the help of somebody that cares. Somebody that will step up for them in a time when they need that help the most. Their car may be damaged, they're incurring medical bills, they're out of work. We represent folks in situations that they never dreamed of being in. And it makes you want to do a better job for your client. That's what brings us back every day. Buckley and Wynn, we're with you every step of the way. Before Allegra D, congestion and pressure from allergies shut me down. After Allegra D, I can breathe. Allegra D provides fast, non-drowsy, 24-hour relief of your toughest symptoms, even reducing swelling that can cause congestion and pressure. After Allegra D, I have it all. In honor of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, Black Bear and Wicked Wolf restaurants have created a special signature dish to benefit Birmingham Group Health Services programs. Joining us now is Daniel Delpreet, the regional manager of Black Bear and Wicked Wolf, and Chef Ryan Trevithan. Welcome to the Connecticut Styles. Nice to have you both here. Thanks for nice having to be us. Here. So, uh, tell me how the restaurants are helping out uh, with the domestic violence. Uh, We're awareness. helping out. We pitch in every year. We've been a sponsor for the uh, the Bolathon that they do every March. And to couple up with that, we were invited and asked if we'd be willing to take part in this segment and then also start a uh, fundraising effort over the next two weeks to uh, raise awareness for domestic violence, the Birmingham group and the Umbrella group. Why was it so important to take part in this? Um, we just would love to, to play a part in it, raise awareness. It definitely is something that affects a, a lot of people, as they mentioned earlier, you know, nationwide, but you know, on a local level, if we can get involved, raise awareness and help out, we, we would love to. Very good. Chef Ryan, what are we making here today? We're going to be featuring one of our new uh, entree dishes, chicken portobello. All right. So we're going to get right in and get started. We're now, gonna you really created this dish for this, this uh, initiative? Yes, we did. Um, we're brand spanking new with this dish, and we're, we're excited to roll it out here. Oh, that's terrific. <laughs> Lucky us. So we're going to start off with two uh, six-ounce chicken breasts, and lightly we're going to dredge in flour. And we're going to go right into a hot pan there with the oil, six ounces. Uh, Did sorry. you do anything to the chicken? Do you marinate it's it? Sli it's slightly marinated with a little bit of oil, salt, and pepper. Okay. Um, we just want to get a nice seared brown side on there. While that's cooking, we're going to take our fresh spinach. Although this looks like a lot, once we throw it in here, you're going to see it's going to cook it? down. <laughs> in, in the pan here, we have uh, one tablespoon of butter and a little bit of chicken stock. And we're going to get those two items going and add a little bit of yeah thank you. a little bit of salt and pepper into here to give it a little taste and get that in there. the key is you want to sear the chicken get nice golden brown on each side luckily we have these burners that are very very strong <laughs> oh, exactly uh, um, What's in the spinach? You have a little butter in there? A little bit about a tablespoon of butter, a little bit of salt and pepper, and a little bit of chicken stock. Oh, chicken um, stock. I wouldn't have thought that. Yeah, give it a little bit of flavor. Adds a little bit more salt to it as well. Okay, while that's cooking, let's talk about, Daniel, what you're doing for the, what, the next two weeks. So over the course of the next two weeks, if anyone is to come to the Black Bear Milford, which is in the Post Mall, Black Bear New Haven and Wicked Wolf New Haven, both on Temple Street downtown, we'll donate $1 of every chicken portobello dish that we sell. 
uh, and we'll make that check to the Birmingham group. And also, in addition, on Saturday, October 15th, we're doing a three-store all-day fundraiser um, where if you come in, you know, again, the, the dish will donate a dollar, but we'll also have some prizes and raffles to give away, things of that nature. We do charge a, a cover that night for entertainment. So in addition, we'll also be asking for donations at the door um, and also along with charity buckets around. And then we've asked the group if they want to come down and raise awareness, have an info table set up. Uh, also, my wife is chairperson for the Bolathon every March. So we're going to get little pins to sell. Uh, dollar donation will hang up pins up all along the back of the, uh, the bar at, uh, at the restaurants, both New Haven stores and Milford as well. So you get to walk in. We'll have the table tents, save the date cards, a bunch of bowling pins behind, behind the bar as well, in addition to a, a great dish set up by Chef Ryan. Well, you got to know that the money you're raising is going to do so much for uh, so many people. It's going to make such a big difference in their lives. Yeah, it's These a great organization. That, that th this organization has for domestic abuse victims, their families. It's yeah, just the, amazing what they're able to do. The Bolathon is an amazing event. You know, it's a lot of people that pour into the Milford Lanes that day, and it, it's a, a good group of people. You know, they're very aware, very given. <laughs> Nonstop, you know, 365 days a year. We're only dedicating, you know, two weeks, but really looking forward to raising the awareness and just getting more people aware to uh, to help raise efforts and awareness as well. Ryan, let's talk chicken. I noticed yeah. you flipped them over. Flipped. How do you know when they're ready to be flipped? Uh, well, you want to go about two minutes on each side, like I said, just to get a nice golden brown. And we're going to just get rid of the excess um, oil that's in the pan there. Okay. And, and we're almost there. Um, now we're going to take our topping ingredients, which we have marinated portobello mushroom roasted red peppers and fresh mozzarella. So what we're going to do now is just put one of the uh, portobello, and this is just a whole portobello uh, grilled with a little bit of oil um, and then sliced in half. So it's actually one portobello cut in half. We're going to add a little bit of the uh, roasted pepper right on top, give it some color. Does it look pretty? Right. And then we top with uh, fresh mozzarella. Wow, that looks delightful. Right. And it goes into the oven? This goes right into the oven. For about how long, right? We're going to go about six minutes for this until it's cooked thoroughly in the middle. And, and look, look what we have. <laughs> this looks root. great. It's magic. We have it a uh, finished magic. product here. And what we have here is going to be our rice that we already heated. Mm -hmm. And we just use a little uh, cup there to kind of keep a little mold on there so it holds a little bit of presentation, then we're going to lightly... You know, if you didn't have the rice, this would be a very carb-conscious meal as well, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Very, very healthy. healthy, yes. And, and we could offer it without the rice if there you anybody go. would like it. Of course, we'll have the recipe on WTNH.com. Let's put the information on the screen for the upcoming fundraiser for the Birmingham Foundation. It's Saturday, October 15th at the Wicked Wolf in New Haven at Black Bear Restaurants in Milford and New Haven. And for more information on the Birmingham Group Health Services, all the information is right there on the screen. So we have to come into the restaurant and order this dish, right? Absolutely. Yes, you do. And for the next two weeks? Strongly recommend it for the next two weeks to raise awareness and help out the Birmingham Group. And every day after right. that for lunch and dinner. Chicken portobello. <laughs> Chicken portobello. All right, very good. Coming up next, the effects of domestic violence on children. We'll tell you more about the Birmingham Group Health Services when Connecticut Style returns. Long lines at the Bridgeport DMV. You sit here, you wait for an hour, get up to the front of the desk to get your number so you can wait another hour, and they tell you you can't register your card. So many of you told us about this through our reported feature. We heard your complaints and reported, and we went out to the Bridgeport DMV to check it out for ourselves. And we dug deeper to get real answers for you. They do tell me relief is on the way. In mid-October, they say two new DMV hub stations will open. Who's got your back? News 8. If you've been injured through no fault of your own, call Injury Attorney for me today. Our network of professional injury attorneys are on your side and will work to get you money for your pain and suffering. The law limits the time you have to file your claim and the insurance companies protect their own best interest. Call Injury Attorney for me now. Protect your family and your future with the compensation you deserve. Call 1-888-898-9529 or visit InjuryAttorneyForMe.com. Hi, I'm Bob Alvine. And I'm Jeff Fox, here with great news. Kia, one of the most exciting brands on the road, has joined the Premier family. Introducing Premier Kia. At Premier, we offer the largest selection of Kia sedans, crossovers, and minivans, starting as low as $12,797. And all are backed 
by Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Come in now for a hassle-free sales and service experience. Premier Kia, Route 1, Brantford. We've been talking about domestic violence awareness today. We've heard how it affects people of all ages, but the effects on children and teenagers can be absolutely devastating with lifelong effects. Joining me now from Birmingham Group Health Services Domestic Violence Programs is Kim Salander, from, who is the child advocate, and Tracy Parks, the coordinator of community education and training. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you. Thank you. When it comes to domestic violence, children really are the innocent victims here, aren't they? Absolutely. I think that a lot of people forget that the children witness most of these incidents. And by witness, it doesn't have to be that they're seeing the arguments or the fights, the hitting, but they're hearing these fights. How many of us can remember when we were children, just hearing arguments between mom and dad? These kids are hearing these loud screaming fights. Often you hear kids don't even want to hear those fights. I mean, I know when, when we have a little argument at home, my daughter says, oh, mom, I just want to hear it. And those are just small things. Yeah. I can't imagine what it's like when it's something so serious as physical abuse and, and mental abuse. Yeah, and the, and the point is this is happening a lot more than a norm, in a normal home. They have to go to school, and they're thinking about this. And, you know, they're going to try to hide it from their friends and, and because they've been told that they're not supposed to talk about this. What kinds of programs are out there for these types of children who are seeing it at home? Well, I, I, we definitely um, do a lot of work with the kids at, at the Umbrella and Domestic Violence Services of Greater New Haven. And um, one of the things that we do is um, we work with kids in the shelter and we have support groups. We try to set up routines, make things more normal and keep them safe. But even we work with kids who are in the community who are living in homes where there's domestic, domestic violence active or also where they have just recently gotten out of a situation or there may be a divorce happening or something like that. Um, so we do a lot of safety planning with the kids. We talk with them about what to do if there's a fight in the house, how to call 911, going into a safe room, maybe calling a family member, things like that. The lifelong effects can also move into their teen years, yeah. the teen dating violence. Yeah. Talk about that. Well, a lot of times uh, what uh, children learn at home, they then practice on their own, and oftentimes we're seeing teens emulating their parents uh, as far as, you know, taking those unhealthy relationships and, uh, you know, carrying them into their own relationships, especially nowadays with teens or any teenager, they, they lack a lot of uh, previous experience in a relationship. Some of them don't have good role models. Uh, many of these kids have, don't have the maturity to understand what low a healthy self -esteem relationship is. Low well. self-esteem. And what, the other thing that we're seeing now that's really contributing uh, to situations around the issue of teen dating violence is technology. Because nowadays, teenagers can be in touch with each other, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and many times it's not healthy. Many times it's more, where are you? What are you doing? When are you going to be back? How come you haven't called me? Things like that. Well, how do you break the cycle? Well, what I'm doing right now is a lot of prevention work, trying to go into the high schools, into the middle schools, and talking to these kids about, look, these are what, this is what it looks like. You know, this is what it feels like. And not every uh, act of abuse with a, teen, with a teenager is physical abuse. We have to understand that there's the verbal and the emotional. Uh, there's also, again, stalking and use of technology and so forth and so on to let them know, hey, sometimes tr your, trust your gut instinct in that if it doesn't feel good, chances are it isn't good. And go to a parent, go to a friend's parent if you don't want to talk to your own. Go to a coach. Uh, go to a religious professional. Every teenager out there has at least one adult that they can trust, that they can go to, that they can talk about this. And it shouldn't be a secret. And they need to understand that they don't deserve it. And with the intervention of an adult, a trusting adult, that will help them break the cycle. And perhaps that trusting adult will refer them to our agency to let them know that there are services out there that are free, that are confidential, and that no one deserves abuse, and that there is hope and there is help. That's really the most important thing here. The key here is that these kids really need to, to talk to an adult, to tell them what's going on in their homes. <laughs> and we I understand we have uh, some great programs that are coming up in October. 
Tonight, the Umbrella 23rd Annual Candlelight Vigil is going on from 6 to 7 p.m. at the Kellogg Environmental Center in Derby. And then the second is the Sound of Hope Wednesday, October 12th from 1 to 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. And for more information on the Birmingham Group Health Services, call this number on the screen, 203-736-2601. And that phone number that if you know somebody who's being, who needs help, what number should they call? The 188, that's a uh, state toll free, uh, state toll free, um, 24 hour hotline, hotline number, 1 294 7700. Excellent. Thank you so much for both. Thank both you. Of you for being here. Don't go away, there's more Connecticut style right after this. I got that number wrong. Get new flooring for every room of your house during Empire's whole house sale. Buy two rooms of flooring and get the rest of your rooms free. Cha-ching! Shop at home for leading brands like Armstrong and Shaw. Get professional installation even next day. Buy two rooms, get the rest free with no interest till 2013. Our whole house sale won't last long. Buy two rooms, get the rest free. 800-588-2300 Today. If you're considering home improvements this fall, you owe it to yourself to check out Advanced Window Systems. AWS is the only home improvement company used and endorsed by local celebrities with factory direct, high quality windows starting at only $199 installed. Advanced Window Systems is locally owned and operated by the Lavoie family and their experienced team of professionals. Call for our fall special and save up to 50% on your heating bills this winter. Same as cash for one year if paid in full. Applying for a car loan could be a scary path. There's no telling what you might find. And if you're rejected at one dealership, it could ruin your chances at getting financed. See Bob's of Milford first. We'll get you off the scary path. This new Buick Regal could be yours for just $249 a month. Get off the scary path. And get financed at Bob's. Bob's of Milford. He just wants to get you a loan. Open Sundays. We just want to tell you again that domestic violence line is 888-774-2900. It's a 24-hour hotline. All right, and we're back here uh, in the kitchen with all of our guests, the representatives from Birmingham Group, and we have uh, Susan, Luis, Ryan, Dan. Thank you all so much for being here, and everyone else. We're going to try this chicken. And be sure to order this chicken portobello. portobello. There you go. All right. For the next uh, two weeks. <laughs> we're going to eat this, but uh, we want to thank you for watching and make it a great day. See you tomorrow. We need a hey, fork.